Good afternoon, Facebook family. It's Mama Kathy checking in. Today is Monday, April the 6th. And in my reflections today, on my meditations, I've been thinking a lot about intention. About intention. Who do I intend to be? Who do you intend to be? What is your intention for this period that we are living through now? And I realized that yesterday I was completely in victim consciousness. Um, There's an expression that fear is false evidence appearing real. Well, I was there. I was in victim consciousness, feeling victimized by what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing in the media, um, the deaths, the numbers, you know, the cases, just all of it, the levels of unemployment, the stock market, everything was just weighing on me and I realized today that is not my intention. I do not intend to be a victim during this experience. It, victim consciousness is like the low level consciousness. It's the low level consciousness. And, um, excuse me, that was my husband. And that's not where I want to be. I want to be. I want to just be in this experience, but not in and of the world. I grew up. Um, half of my family was Holiness Pentecostal. The other part was Baptist. And there was always this discussion about being in the world. You don't want to be in the world, you know, being worldly and all of that. And I used to see that, and I've had so much judgment around it. And today, I realize what they're talking about. You know, no. I don't want to be in a world of fear and lack and scarcity and depression, feeling isolated. That is not the world that I choose to be in. I'm going to choose to be a detached observer of this world, of what we're experiencing, kind of step out of it and just kind of look at it and have a level of observing it and not allowing it to penetrate my soul and make me afraid like it did yesterday. So I want to tell my ancestors, I get what you're talking about when you say, don't be in the world. Be in that state of consciousness where you can observe what's going on in the world, the level of non-attachment, Take your piece of responsibility for it, but don't dwell in that space. That space which will create and bring up emotions of fear and anxiety and stress, which will then in turn actions. I got a call today. I'm sure you've heard this. Many of us have been dealing with this. Um, somebody called today, you know, they're going to deploy the National Guard in two weeks. Uh, what you going to do? You need to go and get your food because they're going to shut down the grocery stores. They're going to shut down the pharmacies, blah, 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 blah. And I was able to just listen to this person give me this warning about what's coming and what I need to do to prepare. And I was chilled, you know. I didn't overreact. I didn't poo-poo her at all. I just listened. And I said, thank you. You know, I've heard that probably 40 times over the past month. So it's interesting that you're saying it now. Who knows? And then I said to her, the more we say it, the more it'll be a part of the collective consciousness and possibly the more likely it will happen. So I'm not going to speak that into existence that all the grocery stores will shut down and the pharmacies will shut down and the National Guard will be out. I'm not speaking that into existence. I'm going to hold in my consciousness that we are going to move through this with freedom and ease, with grace, 
with respect, with love. And when we are done, we and the planet and all humanity will be transformed. I'm going to hold that my karma, that my wishes, that my intentions will be that which is my protection, will be that which holds me up through this experience. The good that I've done, the good that you've done, the good that you will do, the wishes and the blessings that you put out for others, and the intention that we will be better for this. So, that's my word for the day, the power of intention. It was a beautiful book years ago written by an ancestor, Wayne Dyer, fabulous author and teacher. And the victim consciousness place is someplace I don't want to live in. Hold the intention for who you want to be as you move through this experience and who you want to be on the other side of it. I'm not going to gain 40 pounds. I I said that before. My house will be clean, but I'm not going to spend all my time cleaning every nook and cranny and crevice. I am going to celebrate this time that I am blessed to have because not all of us have this blessing and see it as a blessing, you know. But whatever it is, I know that God's got me and God's got you. So do not live in fear. Live in love. As we know two things cannot exist in the same place at the same time. So which one are you going to choose? You're going to lose love and you're going to choose fear. The more love you put out there, the more you'll get back in. So love yourself. Be not afraid. Rise in consciousness and celebrate the experience that you are able to have. No matter how difficult it is, this is your experience. Take responsibility for it. Make it the best. And know God provides. God restores. Whatever you want to call your God. Rest in that. And see yourself coming out of this better. More alive. More able to be in service. Bless you. And have a good one.